What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Flybud Podcast. I am the co-host, Marcos. Please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notifications for more episodes. I'm joined today by... I'm sincere. He is the host of the <laughs> Flybud Podcast. And it makes no sense. Yeah. You know what else doesn't make sense? Joe Biden. He makes dollars. <laughs> Come on now. Hey, bro. I tried yeah. watching I, the presidential campaign. You try to watch it? I the try debate? to watch it, yeah. Presidential yeah. debate? Debate. I tried to watch it. It was difficult. Everybody was like, this is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And CNN was criticized for not providing timely verification as to what they were saying. The spitballing. Fact, fact checks? Right, right. They were spitballing. Oh, they. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Trump was saying yeah, whatever yeah, he needed yeah. to. Um, oh, versus... Biden was saying whatever he could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I saw some today that, I mean, if we're going to talk about it, Biden said, I'm not jumping out of the race in response to his weak ass oh. <laughs> <laughs> during the debate, which is Did crazy. He say that? Yeah. He was like, oh. I'm not going to drop out after people were like you should after what just happened like that was crazy i'll never give up <laughs> no! why would i drop out i forgot what i said <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know what i don't think biden know what he was saying he was like and then the people at the and then uh, and, and the narrator or the mediator was like and, and trump what is your response to that trump was like i don't know what he said but <laughs> and he, said, and he just went on to no he said I don't think he knows either <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's like, I don't know what he said but I don't I don't think he knows either <laughs> and just to hear laughs yeah. and like cause y'all have to understand he is our current president it's not like this is just some guy like no oh yeah, yeah this yeah, yeah. guy has been leading for four years or yeah. dang near and our past president and our past president thank you audience <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> live audience. If you guys didn't know, we, we got live, live audience. audience here. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> it's just like family matters. Ryan could not join us today. He is our HR person. He had some troubles getting here. So it's just a, a two man today. <laughs> I spliff. Um, Biden isn't all to blame, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Transition. Yeah, yeah. Um, but while Biden didn't know what he was saying, again, Trump was saying everything. Mm -hmm. Like, he was lying out his ass. Biden had a fiery <laughs> press conference after the fact. I don't think his drugs kicked in yet. I don't know what the fuck happened. But, yeah. like, the speech he gave afterwards, he was yelling and shit, stuttering. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. he was, like, he was loud and talking. I don't know what the fuck was happening during the debate. He had to, like, warm up and shit. It was... <laughs> <laughs> he did hit Trump with some bombs. Yeah. He said, you have the morals of an alley cat. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if you know anything about alley cats. Bet they don't got no morals. That's what I, I know. I bet that. <laughs> That's what I know. <laughs> As the first thing you said, I think at the fiery uh, press conference, <laughs> is that like, I don't know what y'all were doing last night. Yeah. But I was debating with a man with the morals of a, a, of a alley cat. Stuttered. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if uh, Obama was... At his house, like shot calling. Like, you know, if you watch like the NFL, you're watching the, you know, the Super Bowl, you start calling out plays and stuff. I wonder if Obama was like, I, I, I told you not to say that shit. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Okay, so first of all, he hit him with a list of shit. He said, How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for molesting a woman in public for having sex with a porn star? Mm. While your wife is pregnant, nigga. Yeah. Like, Wait, he said that. He said the N word at the end of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I don't know if he was. End of quote. <laughs> I mean. When you said he said that, I was like, yeah, bro, he said his wife was pregnant. I didn't, I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you just dropped it. Like, yeah. Like I was Mr. TB saying, suck up. <laughs> Hey, you Mr. T it. did uh, <laughs> drop that. Oh, no, that was Pusha. No, not Pusha T. I said Mr. T. No, but it was the dude in WWE. He said the N-word, and he was like, oh. oh. <laughs> Booker T? Like, Booker T. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need to get mad. Oh, man. <laughs> I got my T's mixed up. 
<laughs> Ice T said it. <laughs> no, it was T Pain. <laughs> Why are there so many black dudes with T's? <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, there's Ice T, Booker T, Mr. T, T Pain. I know Dashie did something with T Pendel, but. Oh, yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah, about yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I forgot about that, dude. Man, time passes. Time passes. And Biden is feeling every year. <laughs> oh, Trump had a response to that, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he said, I did not sleep with a porn star. <laughs> that was the that was the yeah. only thing he clarified on. He didn't respond to any questions, bro. Yeah, Nothing okay. directly. Like okay. he just kept this going was, back. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. just being like, first of all, I'm the best. <laughs> and that guy is the yeah, worst. Yeah, yeah. I think we got a question in the audience. The What's live the question? Audience. Oh, you. Doctor Cornell. He is a presidential candidate. I will get behind. He is on the left side. He's a black professor. Okay. Yeah. And black guy. One K in it. And he, um, <laughs> and he is black. I would get behind to be president, but we're too um we're paying attention to Biden and Trump because they get the most internet views. So this this campaign is gonna be very interesting, and it feels more like a game show. Yeah, <laughs> like a reality reality TV show of America, for sure. I think just the controversy. Obviously, we've seen what Biden's been doing for the past four years. Questionable in some areas, obviously. Yeah. Uh, him claiming that there's been no too. other like president that's had more black businesses open up Who during their that? term. Biden did. Oh yeah. Yeah. That it's kind of a weird thing to claim. Like, I have more black people opening up under me than any other president. <laughs> Which is they feel welcome to come outside <laughs> and go to banks. Yeah. It's it's interesting that. I wonder what he did to influence that. Like, what did he do I mean, they, to make that I, claim? I think presidents just do that. Just say shit. I think they just go... Like, anything that they, goes up, they just like, I'm claiming they that. They need more votes. They need this certain population. They always The Flybug Podcast gained 15 views since I've been in <laughs> office. <laughs> That's not a coincidence. <laughs> when you're in office, they only gain nine views. They only yeah. gain nine subscribers. But what else? I think, I think in terms of views, if we had Biden or Trump, I think... Trump would get more views on that video than Biden would. Would you like if we had him on the podcast? Had, yeah, like oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, because one, we could ask questions and get answers. I mean, maybe not answers. We could, <laughs> we could ask a question. <laughs> Biden <laughs> is like you have Biden. People are gonna watch for Biden, but people yeah. are gonna watch for Trump and for what Trump says. People are, don't give a fuck what Biden says. Yeah, when President Biden was going up for his first election, right? The coolest. I'm talking he had put on a like a a, like a belt with the United States flag. Yeah. That was like I thought this guy was America at that point. When he put that boom, I heard the eagle. Like it was just it was real. It was like this guy is American. After all this, bro, I think that was a stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> I think he had a stunt double to put his pants on, bro. <laughs> trailer versus the movie for sure <laughs> but i would say if there is a chance to vote again well i don't know <laughs> <laughs> watch the debate it's everywhere yeah uh the the news that came out after it was it was criticizing obviously it became more of a one it became like a slander talk right you did this but i'm better you did that, but you're worse. Type it, it just kept going on and on. Yeah. So I stopped watching it. From so my it. own perspective, each mm. of them had a goal. Right, 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 right. Joe Biden's goal was to look alive. <laughs> like look like hard he as is, he could think. <laughs> as hard as he could look muster. Like he's like in the in the like it looked like in he's here. Space, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> like <laughs> And he was able to do that for 30% of the time, all right? Because <laughs> the other guy's a good talker. Whether he's lying or not, he sounds good. Oh, yeah. Coherent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you may yeah. be lying, but like he's like he's getting the words out at least. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I heard it, too. I set it down, looked away, said, me, 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 me. It just fell on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just wanna okay. I would say also sexy red is is up for presidents. Is she? It's a She's not old video. enough. It's, it's a music video. Oh, it's one eight hundred and I'm quoting one eight hundred fuck my baby dad. 
Oh. So M I B D. Well, yeah, 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 make sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that you know. Just saying, just saying. The music video's out. Chief Keef, Sexy Red. Fucking, but there's a lot of unnecessary swear jar. <laughs> nah. So yeah, I'm taking yeah. up for Ryan today. <laughs> bro. Somebody you got said to. Somebody needs to. <laughs> <laughs> somebody got to carry the torch. <laughs> of disappointment. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Somebody gotta carry this fuck ass torch, bro. <laughs> and I'm a fucking fuck ass do it, goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck ass fuck. <laughs> I'm a, a fuck ass carry this torch, all right? <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. You said hawk tour. Hawk tour. Is that what she said? Who? Do it a hawk tour? Uh, twa, I think. Hawk tour? How is it, how is it, Ariel? I think it's hawk tour. You say twa, and then no, because it's if she don't hawk to her, I don't talk to her. Yeah, that's what the meme was. You freaky as hell. <laughs> Quote him on that. <laughs> Kendrick did really good. Amazing. To say to say six nine God and know what that means, like that is like like you created a, a slang for the culture. That is freaky that's ass it, nigga. That is if you just say freaky ass nigga, you know sixty nine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like and you that's, know where oh, it's going to. Ovi ho, like that. Like it was just that was just a good. That was a good. That was fun for for, uh, for us. Obviously, probably Drake. one of the greatest diss tracks to oh, ever exist. Man. Ever. Yeah, of course. Not like us is probably one of the greatest diss tracks to ever yeah, exist ever. Yeah. By Kendrick Lamar, produced <laughs> by Mustard on the Beat, ho. <laughs> it's probably one of the greatest diss out. tracks of the early 2000s, late 2000s, <laughs> early 2000s, still low key. It's still the early 2000s, early 2020s. Yes, yeah. Well, a... I mean, if you're talking about the 2000s, I need another yeah. mixed drink. <laughs> You've had enough. <laughs> you need to leave. Hawk to a girl is signing stuff. Overnight sensation off of just being outside at the right time and, and this person just doing the interview. Saying I, the right thing. I'd be thinking those are corny. I'm gonna be real with you. I I think those yeah, are corny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, okay, would you trade phones with your with your man right now? Like this right here for me, it's just like come on. With a phone, microphone. But it works. There is a there is a, actually a huge population that they enjoys it. They get a it. lot of views. And those like gotcha moments. He's probably out there for two to three hours every night trying to get that gotcha, you know. And it worked this time, and she got t-shirts. Well, I mean, she did. Off. I don't know who that dude is. Nobody, but obviously, it originates from a video. So even if he doesn't get full credit, it's still you go out to search up that video. There's traction there, right? Yeah, yeah. you're there for a second. At right, least. right. So Flybook originally posted it. X Y Z originally posted it. That yeah. builds. If somebody takes our clip and posts it on their own separate TikTok. We're still getting seen. I don't really yeah. care. Yeah. Now we're talking money. <laughs> we talking money on. Then we gotta we gotta we gotta get into discussion about that. Huck to her. Uh how do you feel with it? How do you feel about her? Oh, I love her. Yeah. yeah. Love her. Yeah. Yeah. I get like little country vibes from it, you know. Yeah, you were you like spit? Yeah. Yeah, you're a spit liking guy. Yeah. I never been too big on spit. Yeah, I think you've told me that before. Yeah, like abundance of spit. Yeah. I don't like I don't like for my dick to come out looking the same. If it went in your mouth, it shouldn't come out looking the same. That's yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. Dry yeah. is crazy. That is pretty ridiculous. But I disagree. Like when we're blowing bubbles, I'm kind of like, all right, now we blowing bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you blow bubbles? I'm at? there, so I'm saying she's blowing bubbles. How are you blowing bubbles? It's on me, 69 bro. Guy. <laughs> 69 guys. 69 guys. I knew All you was right, different. Bro. I knew you All was right. different. Why would no you more be lemon blowing drops. bubbles? Why would you be No, I I'm, I'm genuinely asking. She's blowing bubbles off me. You said when we blowing bubbles. She's that, making but I'm part of the no, bubble. Yeah, man. when she does No. She there's no make a bubbles bubble. being made without me being but there. But you blowing the bubble. Bro, there's no bubbles being but made without me. No, what did you mean by that? You need a wand to make a bubble. You need a wand to make a bubble. Yes. You making bubbles with your hands? No. You making bubbles with a wand. Like, and you a big <laughs> ass bubble be there, nigga. You freaky as hell. Yeah. You are freaky yeah, as hell. You're you a 69 me. guy. I ain't trying to catch nobody. You need to explain <laughs> yourself, man. You did not answer my question. You deny answer my question. You when but we, when I don't like bubbles. too much spit, though. It's not my thing. <laughs> yeah, we know what's your thing. <laughs> we done heard about you before. <laughs> you freaky as hell, audience. 
Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notification. You are filling this up with lemon juice? For more episodes. Appreciate it. We got a really, with tequila? We got a really good vibe. We appreciate Vodka. y'all being here. He's off his rocker. Yeah. I did say we. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> we blowing bubbles. So, I think there is a, a regulation. There's a policy to when the act is being perceived. Felicio does have its quirks. Yeah. What if that was your girl? The blowjob girl. Uh, What do you mean the blowjob girl? Hawk to a girl. Oh, she just said it? Like, that's your girl. And she's on there. She said things like, oh, how do you get over your ex? The only way to get over one is to get under a new one. Yeah, you got to give that thing a good old hawk to a. <laughs> yeah. Like, if that's your girl, how do you feel about that? Why, why would I be a hater to that? Like. I will take you to go get this stuff signed. Like you, I'll mm. wear the T-shirt to work. Mm. I do not care. Yeah, for sure. If Even I'm that the, original, hook. if I'm the ex, I I mean, again, nobody knows me. I'd cry a little bit. You know mm. what I mean? Because this is somebody I knew at one point. Yeah, she didn't give a fuck. Right, right. It's where you are. There is obviously a point where, depending <laughs> on what side of the fence I'm on, I'm going to have though. a different. <laughs> <laughs> don't point no goddamn. I'm going to have a different opinion. <laughs> But if I'm on the winning team, baby, I'm on the winning team. So mm. That's what I'm going to say. Mm. There's a lot of potential for her. <laughs> Hashtag Bronny James. <laughs> the winning team. <laughs> Terrible follow-up. Yeah, shit. In other popular news, LeBron beat everybody up to get Bronny on the Lakers. I think selected in the 60s overall. RDC World. They they posted like a little video. It's pretty funny. I should yeah. watch it on YouTube. It was like, uh, I'm not gonna call you dad. I'm gonna call you LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. didn't see this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, You're not gonna call me LeBron. You're gonna call me. <laughs> it says unprofessional. It's like who told you that? Was it D'Lo? 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 <laughs> it's a pretty good video, man. The that, niggas are quick. I did not RDC see that one. World. Yeah, and then uh, Mark from RDC World. Yeah, hung out with Kendrick. Yeah, he was at the pop out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The Kenan to friends. see that, yeah, to see that happen is amazing. Shout out RDC Isn't World, it? they're amazing. They were yeah. big on Kendrick. I mean, not Kendrick. They were big on Cole. J. Cole, yeah, yeah. They're like, I think just like Jermaine Cole? Cole. Yeah, like they were like J Cole's the greatest, right? But even getting dap stuff from like LeBron getting invited to these like white party <laughs> events. I say white party. I don't know what's it called. It's like a brunch event that they did. Meaning Jay Z things like that. That's really no. They're that's amazing. That crazy, is amazing. Dude. That is amazing. I, I love. Well, I mean, they that. deserve. Like they keep making a banger fucking videos. They have said. They have said when we have moved to this new house, we didn't have no income. We just moved straight to here. Which I don't know how you get approved for a house that you don't afford. Anyways, the story itself is pretty inspiring. <laughs> Saying I don't know how we gonna pay rent. We just gotta do it, and they did it. You could never convince me to do that. <laughs> to I've tried. And just say content house and just never, <laughs> never convince me. It's but, pretty good I, idea. but I am thinking about upgrading the set a little bit. Mm. And thinking about it, it's been way heavy. Mm. I think when we get to that 400 subscribers, I might have to start. That's why I spend $10 on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I've done, <laughs> <laughs> I've done my part. I've done my part. Bronny playing with Lakers is amazing to see. I think any amazing dad, to see. Yeah, any dad. <laughs> Why is that amazing to see? Dude, it's You're not you even gonna watch. You playing with your son. You're, You're not a, even gonna watch it. Though. You playing with your son on the highest level possible. The NBA, <laughs> and you're part of the Lakers. I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you you didn't get drafted. I laugh, sipped that one in. It was like, <laughs> Amazing! I don't know. Do you know who won the last championship? The last one, the Celtics. Yeah. Celtics. Yeah, that's why I felt like did it, but I didn't know. We talked that's why about I'm it. like I'm really not into the NBA. We no talked more. about it last week. Who won the championships? Yeah, I don't remember. Copying cele- uh, celebrations. The what? Copying. Celebrations oh yeah. yeah, the most unoriginal celebration right, ever. Right, Jason yeah. Tatum. We did talk about we did that. Talk about Embarrassing, it. by the way. <laughs> um, Zero aura. Yeah. <laughs> Almost a bit more embarrassing than crying when you knew the script. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bronny James was like, oh my God, I can't yeah, believe yeah. this. <laughs> Nigga, your dad <laughs> let you knew, bro. He, he knew good and got you were <laughs> you knew good and got damn. You were well. shoe in. Either way, to pull it off, even with the script. Yeah, I didn't think it would happen. 
Yeah. I don't think it would happen. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people would be like, bro, he couldn't compete with ASG. Why the <laughs> fuck could he compete in the league? I got to rewatch these highlights. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> he got drafted pretty late. Well, I say pretty late. Obviously, when you have that much influence, everybody knows, hey, LeBron's your dad. You're going to have people Spotlight watching Spotlight immediately. Right. As soon as you're so, in high school. The issue with that, and a lot of teams not wanting to pick him up, is they could potentially see that as a liability. They're going to want to, hey, you have this player. People like him. Put him on the team. But he's not as maybe talented, gifted, hardworking. Not saying that he isn't, but I'm saying just as an example. Starting a player who isn't qualified for that position will get you more views, but might bring the ratio down because they're not as qualified as the dude behind him. Yeah. Who's put in the work. Yeah. So. I don't know. But for Bronny, I would say, yeah, if I'm watching the first game, it would be to see that he gets subbed in. Those two lob, second Wade, and yeah, you know what I mean, like just that, and then LeBron's gonna retire. Cool, you know, it's a fairy tale ending. So I, yeah. I like that aspect because it's very, yeah, it's pretty cool for LeBron to get that. I'm pretty sure he's a very proud father. He deserve it. Yeah, over yeah. 20 years in the league, he deserve a fairy tale ending. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> this nigga might go. get cooked in the league. Yeah. That's it, bro. Like, yeah. the nigga might get cooked. There might not be a fucking layup. He might get fucking <laughs> rah, he demolished, might get, he could bro. Get injured in practice. Zion was prospected to be one of the greatest. They yeah. were comparing him to LeBron at one point. Yeah, and nothing. Well, he, I mean, the way he was ducking white kids. Yeah, but he just has, you know, intercourse with the porn star, and then that was it. That was his <laughs> highlight. I don't remember hearing nothing. Ain't play since. Yeah. I think he just got fat and stopped playing, bro. <laughs> yeah. It was in his contract to lose weight, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Mariah Mills, bro. I, I mean, wouldn't yeah. smash Mariah Mills right now. I mean. I swear to God I wouldn't. All right, bro. She was the first on Pornhub, first historic black woman to be featured number one. I don't give one. a fuck about no Pornhub Award Grammy Come winning. Come on, bro. You got to respect <laughs> accolades. You got to respect accolades. Oh, this pussy won an award. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know this. I mean, bro, you got to you gotta Hell respect nah. accolades. Yeah, but maybe I wouldn't we're just sign up. Bro. I wouldn't sign up for it. Because I have sex for the love, not for the feeling. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I have sex for love. And I don't love Mariah Mills. <laughs> I only love my girlfriend. <laughs> so, maybe we're just different like that, bro. I feel like niggas used to huck to it before getting hard labor going. <laughs> but <laughs> okay, you're never drinking again. This guy's incoherent. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Pull up presidential? I feel like Joe Biden. <laughs> We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, reading that bell notification. I've been the co-host of the Flyby Podcast. My name is Marcos. I'm the host. Sexy reference. Sincere. Host of the Flyby Podcast. Bye. What do you guys think about bar food, huh?